Yo, how's it going guys? So in my last video, I talked about the GMI indicator and how you can use that to determine the overall trend of the stock market. In this video, I'm going to show you one more way to do that same thing. And this time we're going to use TC2000. If you haven't yet set up TC2000, I have a link to my tutorial of how to do that in the description below. So now jumping into the program, we can see my overall setup here. So I have the SPY as the main chart. I have a 30 day simple moving average on that chart. And I also have the QQQ, the DIA and the IWM plotted in the background. Down here, I have basically all the ETFs and when my PCF code is activated for those individual ETFs. So here you can see that the QQQ is activated, here the SPY is at also activated, and here all of them are activated at the same time. So real quick, let me jump into the PCF code and kind of go through it step by step. The link to it will be in the description and feel free to use it and modify it however you wish. So the first criteria my PCF code looks for is that the exponential 10 period moving average is less than the 30 period exponential moving average um, both today and yesterday. Then my code is also activated when the two day simple moving average is less than the 30 day simple moving average. And finally, it's activated when the 30 day simple moving average is less than it was one bar ago. So basically the 30 day moving average right here, this red line is decreasing. So these are the criteria that my PCF code looks for. And you can see during this major weakness of last winter, it was grayed out from almost the very start of the decline. And you can also see that starting May 8th, the PCF code has also been activated. So stock market indicators are only good if they work. And my goal for creating this PCF code was to create a working code that would correctly identify and predict the 2008 crash and make sure you are aware of the weakness in the market before it actually drops substantially. So now we're looking at a weekly time frame of the SPY and going back to the stock market crash of 2008, you can see that my indicator would have been activated, hopefully giving you enough warning to sell your positions and get out before it fell 40% or so. So now we're back on a daily chart and I'm gonna to explain to you how I use this indicator. So scrolling back, you can see that it's pretty sensitive for the SPY and the individual indexes. But when multiple indexes are activated at the same time, which is what this area right here is showing, that the stock market has a severe weakness and could fall dramatically. So what I recommend for you is when it is activated on multiple indexes at the same time, such as here, when all four were activated, you should become really conservative and maybe even wait out the market completely in cash. This is how I use this indicator, and this is why on the 8th, I sold all my shares of all stocks and ETFs that I owned. So that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found my PCF code useful. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys in future videos.